In this video, I show you how to use the Clownfish voice changer. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. Firstly, I'll show you how to download and install Clownfish, and then I'll show you how you can go and use it and make sure that it's all working and your voice will be changed on any app you want. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser, and I just use personally use Google Chrome, and then come to a search engine, and that can be any one. And of course, all you need to do is go and search for Clownfish, and make sure you end up on the official website and I'll show you which one. Just type in Clownfish Voice Changer just like so and the official website is clownfish-translator.com. Take, take a moment for it to load and then here we are. And then all you want to do is go to the top bar and go and tap on download and then we've got a few different versions we can go and download. The one I usually just use is the 64-bit one here so go and tap on it just like so and then it's going to go and download. And now every browser is slightly different on where it goes and puts its downloads. If you're using a different browser to Google Chrome, um, your downloads will be in a different location, but you can always go and find your downloads in the file explorer. And then you go to your downloads folder and you're gonna find them all there. Now let's go and double tap on this installer and go and run it. So tap on it once just like so, and you're going to go and get a Windows security pop-up. Unfortunately, I can't go and record that. Then let's just go and go through the setup wizard to go and tap on next few different options here you want um, and then you can go and choose where you want it to be installed that's fine with me and now it's actually going to go and install so go and tap on install just like so and all you need to do is wait now as you can see we've got this terminal pop up here and what it wants to do is go and restart your audio service so i will have to go and temporarily stop recording um, because of course the audio service you can't go and record your voice so all you need to do is go and type in y if you're sure about that and then go and press enter and then after you press enter, the audio service will stop and then it will automatically restart. And then you're gonna go and have this installation complete box here. And there we go. And you can then go and tap finish and Clownfish is now installed. And now I'll show you how to go and set it up and go and use it. So now all you want to do is go and open up Clownfish. So I've got it on my desktop. So I'm gonna go and double tap on it just like so. And when you double tap on it, nothing visible will actually happen. So you need to go to the bottom right of your computer. And as you can see, we've got the Clownfish voice changer logo here, but you may need to go and tap on the hidden icon button to go and view it. And then we've got it in here. So now let's go and right click on it just like so. And as you can see, you get these list of options and you need to go and tap on setup and then go to system integration just like so. And we then go and get this box here. And what you want to do is make sure the microphone you want to go and have um, the voice effect and the voice changer apply to has been installed. So if we go to install slash remove voice changer, the microphone I personally use is a USB PMP sound device. As you can see, that has removed next to it and all the others have install, which means it's being applied. Um, but if the wrong microphone is selected, then tap remove and go and install the one you want to go and use. And that means it's basically set up. Now, all we want to do is go and open up Clownfish. So close off of it, and then we want to go back to Clownfish and right click on it. And you need to go and click on set voice changer, just like so. And then we go and get the Clownfish voice changer um, box here. And these are all the different effects we can go and apply. So I'm gonna go and give you a quick example. For example, he helium, here we are, I should now sound helium. And if you wanna go and stop that, just go and press peer effect. And of course, you've got all these other effects here. So the next thing you want to do is go and open up the software or tool which you want to go and apply your voice to. For example, if you want to go and use a voice changer in a software like Discord, then you need to go and open it up and go and change a few key settings. So once you're on Discord or any other application you're using, go to the settings and then go and find your microphone. So in this case in Discord, you need to go to app settings and voice and video. Then you need to come to input device. And what's really important is that you've gone and you're using the same microphone that you're applying the effect to. If you remember, I went and selected the USB PMB sound device when I was in the um, Clownfish setup. That means I need to go and be using the same microphone in Discord because if I was using, say, the microphone HD webcam, then the effect would not be applied. So go and tap there. And when I go and set a voice changer to this mic in Clownfish, it's going to be applied inside of Discord. It's literally that easy. And you need to go and do this or just check it um, for each software you're using. And um, otherwise your, your voice may not be changed when you go and select it. And there we go. That's all you need to do in order to go download, install, set up, and use Clownfish. So whenever you want to go and change the effect, then all you need to do is go and tap one of these, for example, and go, then you go and go and start speaking and you're voice will be changed and press clear effect to go and stop it and if you want to go and open up clownfish as i say all you need to do is go and use your hidden icons and you can go and get to the setup and the voice changer here if you found this video useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace